Hello everyone, it's MLP Minty Silver here, and I just want to clear up a few things about the video I posted on the 9th of September. To everyone who, to someone, to some people who don't believe me, my dad actually did pass away on the 9th of September. I'm not lying about that. Because this YouTuber commented, I deleted the comment from the, from the video I posted about my dad, because he or she said they don't believe that my dad actually passed away and he actually did pass away he actually did and I was not going to go into my mom's room and show you my dad's dead body I was not going to do that I was not going to disrespect my dad in, in that way I was not going to show everyone his dead body because that will be heartbreaking for me and my mom and my sister and it will just disrespect my dad in that way so to clarify this my dad actually did pass away on the 9th of September he actually did die of cancer I'm not lying about it I'll never lie about anything about a family member passing away I lost an uncle to cancer, and I lost now I lost my dad in the, on the 9th of September. He actually did die on the 9th of September. He actually did die. I'm not lying about it. He actually did. Sorry, I was thinking I'm there. But yeah, my dad actually did pass away on the 9th of September. And I wasn't lying about it when I was filming it because me and my mom were waiting for the undertakers to come and take his dead body away and I wasn't going to film the funeral which happened the day after my mom's wedding anniversary but yeah my father did die I'm not lying about it I would never lie about losing a family member never in my life I would lie about anything like that so I don't know I'm not subscribed to this youtuber and I don't know how he found he or she found my channel but the thing is he said that they said that um he didn't believe it and he he said that um they said that something smells fishy he thought they thought I was lying about my dad passing away and I'm not I'm actually not lying about it because this is the 29th of December and Saturday was really hard for my mom my sister and me because it was our first Christmas without my dad my dad he was if you still don't believe me, I'm going to show you something that was made for my dad's funeral. That's my dad. That is my dad. That was him in 1994. I was only a year old at the time, but that was the day my mom and dad got married. Well, 22nd of September 1994 was the day he got married. My dad was into fishing and arts. But yeah, that is my dad. That's the memory I have of him. I know he's not going to be happy about this video, but... The comment really struck me hard. Really got to me hard. Because the thought I was actually lying about my dad passing away and I'm not because we would never make any of these up if he didn't so yeah my dad is actually gone this is the memory we have of him now that is what my dad looked like in 1994 he um, passed away at the age of 68 and we have to remember all the good times we had with him, the fun times we had with him, and yeah, you can actually see the date he was born and the date he died. This is the proof 
My mum's not going to be happy about this video, but I had to do it because I'll show my mum the message. On my, I've got the message on my uh, um, I've got the email to prove that someone didn't believe it, but my dad passed away. I'm going to show my mum the email, and she'll understand why I've made this video. But yeah, this is what we have now to prove. This is the proof. I have to show that my dad actually did pass away and it's getting really hard to talk about him now because he was he was very protective over me because it was right with me because because I had to get like heart operations and I had to go to doctor's appointments and hospital appointments through my childhood but the thing is that's what my dad looks like that was him back in 1994 that was taken on the 22nd of September 1994 but as you can see, it has the date, the year, the date, the month, and the year he was born. And it actually shows you the date, the day, the month, and the year he died. <laughs> I'm not lying about my dad passing away. I would never, never lie about it. I just hope that my mum understands this video when she watches it. <laughs> so... To whoever doesn't believe my dad passing away, that's your proof. That is your proof right there. That's my proof right there. My dad did pass away. And <sighs> um basically now I have to be the the woman of the house. I have to try and support my mom through it all because we're still grieving we're still grieving for the loss of my dad because my mom was actually in the bedroom when he died my mom was there beside him when he was when he passed away so yeah my mom was in the in the bedroom when my dad passed away and I didn't want to show the dead body of my dad because that will be disrespect for the dead and I don't do that I would never do that I know you get some people that actually film funerals but I wasn't going to do that because of the copyright because of the songs we played at my dad's funeral the song were three from Meatloaf and one from Guns N' Roses the songs that were played by Meatloaf was Rock and Roll, Dreams Come True, Objects in the Rear Roof Mirror, May Appear Closer Than They Are, and Battle of Hell. Those are the three songs from Meatloaf. And the song from Guns N' Roses was Sweet Child of Mine. The Sweet Child of Mine song was from my dad to me. My dad loved Meatloaf, he loved Guns N' Roses, Black Sabbath. He was a really, really a rock and roller. He was an ex hills angel. He worked all his days until my mom, until he retired and then my mom's health deteriorated and then my mom's health is fine now, it's better now, but back then it wasn't. So my dad became uh, the own, the sole carer of my mom, my sister and me. But when he got diagnosed by cancer last year, October last year, it became a struggle. My mom became my dad's carer and I helped. For four weeks, it was just me and my mom looking after my dad. And then the nurses came in. And then the doctor said to my mom, my dad only had weeks to live. 
and then I knew when he told my mom that he wasn't driving anymore, I knew he was going to die. I knew he was dying because he took a, he took a seizure in the living room right in front of me. So I took thought and brought him in my room. And that was the day that, um, well, the day that we found out he had only weeks to live was when I was building my own bed, actually. My dad taught me how to do it. He taught me how to do DIY and everything, because I'm dyslexic. So he did show me what, show me how to do it, so I did it. And, yeah, it's been, like, two full months, nearly three full months since he passed. And me and my mom are still, str my sister doesn't really understand about death, really, really. my sister doesn't really understand about death, but I do, because I've got this sense that my dad's here in my room. He's watching me making this video, and he is not happy about someone commenting on that video about him, because... I did want to inform everyone about my dad because my dad was well he was my dad he was more than my dad he was my teacher and my best friend and he was my mom's best friend as well he my my dad was my mom's partner and lover and soulmate. My dad was my mom's soulmate. My mom will never ever remarry because it's just too hard for her. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a little bit of a runny nose right now. But yeah. And then um, I have to wait and tell my mom gets up and hopefully my mom can comment on this say something in this video or comment something comment on this video because I told my mom about it and she wasn't happy about it but I'll show her the I get emails from ones who comment on my channel and I do have the comment that this person said about my dad about saying that he's, they smelt something fishy and he didn't really believe that my dad actually passed away so I hope this video clarifies everything that I said in the video I did on the 9th of September 2021 of this year I hope this video clarifies that my dad has actually passed away and he's never coming back and I have his ashes in that locket I showed everyone and there's a big urn in the living room with all my dad's ashes in it as well so how can you say that my dad is not dead when we have his ashes he was cremated on the 23rd of September. My dad has gone. He'll never come back. So, to anyone who doesn't believe that my dad has actually passed away, this is your proof. This is it here. And I don't want to be ever, ever be called a liar again about lying about my dad passing away because I would never lie about it. So please, to anyone who doesn't believe that I lost my dad, my best friend, please think about, bef think before you comment on my videos. Just think before you say something. Because this person what they said about not believing that my dad passed away really got to me. I didn't just lose my dad on the 9th of September. I lost my best friend. I lost my teacher. 
He taught me everything. He showed me what to do. He showed me how to cook. He showed me how to do DIY. He showed me everything what to do. So please, please, think before you comment on my videos again. And I'd like to thank Ray LPS for being there for me, for being there since my dad died. And I hope this video clarifies to this, to this person that I did lose my dad. And I don't know if I'll be doing a video this weekend because as you can hear my dogs barking and what they said really got to me and usually I don't get and usually I don't let comments get to me but this person did get to me saying that he smelt something they smelt something fishy but anyway here's your proof again I lost my dad and I don't want ever to be called a liar again this is MLP Minty Silver I don't know if I'll try I don't know if I'm gonna do videos again because that comment really got to me and my mental health is not that great right now so please again think before you comment because I am suffering from my mental health my mental health is rock bottom right now so please I want kind nice thoughtful comments not nasty ones or ones that will get to my mental health thank you